And now, your NBC 26 Storm Shield forecast with meteorologist Gino Recchia. Another beautiful day, but this time around, just a few high level clouds, a little more than yesterday came through the area. The reason why we saw all of this was from a system down to the south over parts of uh, northern Illinois. This was a very stalled system, but a high pressure yesterday that kept, kept us very nice and sunny. That high pressure has moved up towards Canada, so that's why we had these high level clouds move into parts of northeast Wisconsin. However, this high pressure still remaining under control for the next foreseeable future. So this system down to the south, which is actually the remnant of Tropical Storm Gordon, that will be passing down to the south of us. And the only thing we'll see are perhaps a few clouds out of that system down to the south. Now, talking about tropical systems, one that's currently ongoing is Tropical Storm Florence. This is moving to the west at about eight miles per hour. It has weakened from a hurricane yesterday, but it is anticipated to intensify quickly into a category four hurricane by mid next week. So a very watchful eye for folks along the east coast for us. We won't be seeing a speck of rain anytime soon. High pressure will be drifting down to the southeast over the next 24 hours, and that's going to keep us high and dry. Wind flow will remain out of the east and northeast, so lakeside areas once again will be cooler than farther inland where we're anticipating to have high temperatures in the lower 70s once again. So talking about cooler by the lakeshore, it's happening right now. 63 from Kiwani down towards Sheboygan, 70 in Sister Bay, 71 in Mountain. It is 66 in Green Bay and Appleton. Winds blowing in out of the east and northeast between about uh, 3 in Kiwani to as much as 14 at miles per hour in Green Bay and 12 miles per hour in Appleton. But this northeast wind flow remaining and bringing in dry air from Canada so that humid air is not returning for the next few days, but it could and it looks like it will be returning by perhaps uh, next week, Wednesday, Thursday or Friday. It's not going to get too hot, but that humidity value will be rising. 48 to overnight tonight, a few high level steers, clouds, light winds out of the northeast, five to 10 miles per hour. Tomorrow it will be a little more breezy and also temperatures might not reach 70 degrees, especially closer towards the lakeshore. That lake breeze will be moving farther inland, so that's why we're having a high of 67 in Green Bay. 68 on Sunday, which is our first game of the season for the Packers. 70s do return Monday and get close towards 80 degrees on Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. Some days more clouds than others, but we are remaining dry over the next seven days. I'm sure the, the fans and the Packers team love, are loving that. Oh, know, yes. No ponchos nice or umbrellas needed. All right. Thanks, Gino, for that.